Today I'm going to be reviewing the lead time battery balancer. This is for system up to 48 volts. It's got four pairs of wires, so it's designed for a single battery pack with up to four cells in series or a battery system up to four batteries in series and that's 48 volt battery system. But you don't have to use all four. Here is the user manual. If you have a 24 volt system, you only have to use two pairs counting from the left. If you have a 36 volt system, you only have to use three pairs. 48 volt, four pairs. And down here is also a 48 volt system, but we got two P, so two batteries in parallel, and it's still 48 volts. Here is the specs of the system. It can operate from 3 to 20 volt DC. However, in the user manual, it only shows starting from 24 volt. So we got 24, 36, and 48. I wonder if I can use this for a 12 volt battery pack. That's a 12 volt battery pack, and it has four cells in series. This is lithium iron phosphate. Each cell is about 3.3 volts. And this user manual also says that it works with 3 volts. So I'm curious to see if it's going to work with this battery pack. So I'm going to try it on this battery pack as well. Current draw when working up to 10 amps. Standby 5 milliamps. It has short circuit protection and reverse polarity protection. It has ring terminal and size is M8 screws. Cable length 59 inch. I don't know where this is from because the cable length on this unit from here all the way to the end for each wire is only 18 inch. So first I want to try and see if the balancer would work with this 12 volt battery pack. Let's measure the voltage of each cell. 3.364, 3.374, 3.337, 3 3.356. So this whole battery pack here is very unbalanced. None of the cells are the same voltage. And let's put it to the test, shall we? I have written down the voltage of each individual cell. And this is before I connect it to the balancer. That way I can compare it later on. So according to the user manual, you start from the left, from the positive terminal. I've got my main positive terminal on the left here. And I'm going to start from here. So it will be the first pair of wire on the left, which is this pair right here. And then the second pair will go to the second cell third pair, third cell, the fourth pair go to the last cell. I have just finished connecting the balancer to the battery pack. This is going to take some time to balance out, so I'm going to turn on my timer and I'll be back in a few hours. It has been eight and a half hours. Let's see what we got. First cell, this one originally 3.363, now it's 3.349. So the voltage has been reduced. Originally 3.373, now it's 3.349. So this one is also reduced. Third cell, originally 3.337, now it's 3.341. So the voltage has been increased. Last one, 3.357, now 3.346, So this one, the voltage has been reduced. So what it's been doing is to take the power from the higher voltage cell, which is this one, this one, and this one, and charge the cell that's got a lower voltage. But after eight and a half hours, the voltages aren't completely 100% matching yet. I'm gonna let it run overnight, and I'll come back in the morning and check it again. It has been 42 hours, 57 minutes, and close to 43 hours. That's almost two days. Let's see what we got. First one is 3.337. 3.337, that's exactly the same. 3.338, okay, almost exactly the same. 3.335, 36, very close. 3.337. 
So all four of them are almost identical with the exception of this one here. It's only 0 0.002 volts lower than the highest one, which is 0 0.338. This one is 0 0.337. Yep, so they're almost identical. That is awesome. I want to try a load test to see how this balancer works under load. I got this light bulb here and it runs at about 7 amps. I'm going to let this run for a while so let's put a timer on it so let's reset this. Start. Alright, it has been almost an hour since I plugged in my light bulb. Let's see what we got. 3.303 3.302, very close. 3.299, 3.300, that's close enough. 3.301, so yes, they are still very close, even though it's under load for almost an hour. What I want to do next is to find out whether this balancer will work with a 48 volt pack that is made up of four individual 12 volt battery. Over here, I got four 12 volt lithium iron phosphate batteries, and they are four completely different brands. They are 12 volt Power Queen, Power Eurus, Litam, Cyclone Bat. Now, let's check on the voltages before I hook them up together 13.31, So, none of them have the same voltage. Now let's go ahead and hook this up and see if it's going to work. That's one thing you need to keep in mind that once you already connected one pair or more, in this case I've connected two pairs and I've got two more pairs to be connected and make sure you don't touch the terminal together because it will short out, which just happened to me. Make sure you keep all of the terminals separated. Alright, I've got it connected. Let's check on it again. 13.31, 13.32, and 13.3534. Now let's see how long it's going to take to do it. Let's put the timer on. It has been about 18 and a half hours. Let's see what we got. I have written down the original voltage of these batteries before I install the balancer. Let's see what we got now. 13.32, so that's 0.01 volts increase. 13.32, so that's the same voltage. 13.32, so that is an increase of 0.02. And finally, 13.33, so that is a decrease of 0.01 volt. So you can see the voltage of this one is increased to 13.32. This one is increased to 13.32. This one is decreased to 13.33. So the balancer actually takes the power from the higher voltage battery and charges the battery that has a lower voltage. Same thing is happening here. And this one stays the same at 13.32. So this balancer doesn't just take power from the higher voltage battery and deplete it down to match with the lower voltage battery. It actually takes the power from the battery with a higher voltage and uses it to charge the battery with a lower voltage. And that's why you see an increase in voltage instead of this staying the same. Right? This is the lowest voltage of the entire pack. And that's a very efficient way to balance all of this pack together. So there you have it, the lead time battery balancer. Not only does it work with a 12 volt pack, it also works with a 24 volt, 36 volt or 48 volt battery pack. And it does it very efficiently. That's all for now folks. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.